This is the quality content they all subscribed for. Ah, stuck on my elbow! <laughs> And today we are going to be doing store-bought slime kits versus real slime. When I say real slime, I mean homemade slime. So don't mind the dirt on my shirt or that one hand is not painted <laughs> on my fingers. I am a child, so that's just how it is. I'm sorry. Deal with it. <laughs> Pretty straightforward for the video. We've got two slime kits here. I believe they are from Michael's. So they were each $7, so we have Moon Mud by Discovery, and we have Unicorn Fizzy Gloop. I don't know what Fizzy Gloop is, so we're gonna see. This one looks really cool to me. It says, is it a solid or a liquid? So we're gonna do some Moon Mud first. And then we also have our ingredients over here to recreate these slimes ourselves. I think from the package, it looks like slime. So I'm hoping it's gonna be slime, but because it says it's a solid or a liquid, I'm thinking it might be oobleck. I don't know though. If you don't know what oobleck is, it's like when you punch it, it's solid, but if you like just scoop your hand in it and let it fall, it's a liquid, so. I can't get this out. <laughs> yep, it's, I'm pretty sure it's oobleck. This says it's cornstarch. Uh-oh. Making your own moon mud. Pour half of the cornstarch into the mixing tray. Okay, this is not slime. Oh my gosh. Well, if you didn't know what oobleck is, I guess you're about to see. <laughs> so let's measure out one fourth of a cup. Okay. That's probably good enough. I'm gonna put some food dye in there too. I'm gonna make it blue so that it looks like the one on the box. So, that looks so pretty. Oh, okay. I can already feel it forming. It feels so weird. Okay, I love oobleck, but it's kind of messy. So once I finish stirring, I'm gonna roll up my sleeves. Oh my gosh, it's so weird because like all the cornstarch is stuck to the bottom, so you gotta like mix it up. This is our slime. I'll just take this little piece because this is kind of what oobleck is like. So when you move it around, it's like Play-Doh. If I pick some up and move it really fast, <laughs> I can like play with it. And then as soon as I stop, it turns to a liquid. And I like, okay, this one's a little sticky because we added too much water, but that's all right. Okay, <laughs> we're trying our hardest. <laughs> so much fun. <laughs> oh my gosh, okay. You guys saw it, right? It was there. <laughs> There's our black. We did it! I added too much water. It said one fourth cup. I added one fourth cup. It didn't say add one fourth cup. It didn't? No, it said just use the cup to add teeny bits of water. Um, I don't know how to review this now because I didn't follow the instructions and I failed. This is the homemade uh, version. So we won't mess it up this time, hopefully. <laughs> so we found a big box and then we've got our little tub. It's pretty empty though, so I'm gonna use the box. Get all that cornstarch in there. Mm -hmm. Now we're gonna try and not mess this up. Let's do red food dye. Red, 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 okay. Okay, and a little bit of water at a time. Just a little bit and then stir. We're not gonna mess it up this time, guys. We can do this. Oh my gosh, it's so lumpy. I can't even stir it. <laughs> we messed it up. <laughs> We've got this, guys. We can do this. Okay, that's that's good. That's good. We're good. We're fine. We're fine. It's fine. It's fine. Okay, 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 okay. Oh, it's gonna be pink. Get the rest of that in there. Yes. Oh my gosh, I'm doing it. <gasps> I'm doing it. See? I can do it, Mom. Don't doubt me. <laughs> I did it. Yes, you did. <laughs> oh my gosh, that's actually cool. I love the black. It's getting more watery now. Okay, 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 okay. Maybe you can doubt me now, Mom. <laughs> this is the quality content they all subscribed for. <laughs> okay, I know it looks bad, but it feels great, okay? I'm sorry. <laughs> 
Look at that. Did you see that? Did you see that? Uh huh. Uh -huh. Oh, dang it. I stopped rolling it. <laughs> That's the only problem with Ooblick. The second you stop touching it, it melts. And then you have a big mess. And it gets everywhere. Okay, I just need a little bit more cornstarch. <laughs> okay, ready, ready, ready. So it's like this. See, I got it now. I got it. Mom, look at this. And then if I like punch it. Doesn't this look so weird? It's obviously a liquid, but if I punch it, it won't go through. But if I touch it, I can go through. I love the look. Look at that, I just took a big chunk out of a liquid. <laughs> supposed to be a slime video let's move on but I think that the homemade version was better because I had more cornstarch and could redeem myself <laughs> if you guys were to look at this box tell me in the comments down below would you think that this is slime or not because I thought it was slime because it's like stretching down into the little blob and it's sticking to his hand like come on it's a little misleading that's all I'm gonna say so next we have Unicorn Fizzy Galoop. So let's hope this is slime. <laughs> it says, turns fizzy reactions into slimy galoop. Slimy galoop is a slime brand. So let's hope that this is slime. It looks like slime on the box, but so did the last one. Let's... Okay, ooh, look at this container. This container is goals. A little mixing. Fizzy Gloop Solution. We've got some glitter. Uh, we've got some baking soda, sodium tetraborate, and Fizzy Gloop Mix. So let's read the instructions and see how to make some Fizzy Gloop. Step one, measure out 100 milliliters of warm water and pour it into the paper or plastic cup. So we've got some warm tap water. I'm gonna put it in this little measuring cup thingy, hopefully not make a mess. Nope, making a mess, okay, that's all right. Um, pour faster, what if I spill? I spilled, <laughs> I made a mess. Okay, so that's 100 milliliters. Use the spoon provided to add one level spoonful of sodium tetraborate to the warm water and stir until the powder dissolves. One level spoonful, come on guys. Then we're gonna stir it up. <laughs> we're waiting for it to dissolve. <laughs> Step two, in your second cup, there's another cup? What? Liars? There's no other cup? So we emptied this into here, so now we have a second cup. Combine 10 milliliters of room temperature water. I'm gonna just say that this is room temperature water. Oh my gosh, the pressure. Oh. Perfect. One spoonful of your activator, so that's this. And one spoonful of fizzy gloop mix. Level spoon. Beep. Hopefully that's not too much. This will be your fizzy loop activator. Hand wash the beaker carefully as residue can affect the rest of your reaction. What? We're gonna mix this. <laughs> so many bowls. Gonna, your mom's gonna be so mad. <laughs> You're using all the dishes. <laughs> okay, so I'm just cleaning out this beaker because they say to Clean it. Step three. In the beaker, mix 30 milliliters of your fizzy gloop solution with glitter and half a spoonful of baking soda. So many instructions. <laughs> glitter. Ha ha ha. Oh, my spoon. Or my stirred stick. Mix in all that glitter. Half a spoonful of baking soda. That's about half a spoonful. Beep. <laughs> dun, 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 dun. I think that this is just glue and they're just making it sound fancier by saying solution. It's just glue, okay. Step four, place your beaker in the middle of a ceramic or plastic plate. We're gonna get a towel. Intermission. Slowly add fizzy gloop activator to the fizzy gloop solution mixture. 
in your beaker and stir until it reaches halfway up the beaker. Your reaction will start to fizz. Well, I don't know what halfway up the beaker is because we did it in a bowl, but we're just gonna do this. <laughs> stirring, 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 stirring. We're adding a little bit at a time so that it doesn't mess everything up because we're working. Oh my gosh, it's fizzing already. No, just kidding, it's not. I'm over dramatic, I'm sorry, okay. It feels like it's starting to be slime, but it's not fizzing, so I don't know. It isn't fizzing, it's becoming slime, but I don't think it's fizzing. Or maybe it's not even becoming slime. I don't know what's happening. <laughs> Nothing's happening. <laughs> it's not fizzing, please, just fizz. I need some action here, please. It's not fizzing, guys. I don't know what's supposed to happen. It's just becoming slime. I could have done that by myself. Thank you very much. <laughs> it's coming off the sides of the bowl, but it's still sticking to everything else. Okay, it's slime, but it's not fizzing, and it's very sticky. Okay, 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 okay. I don't like this, I don't like this at all. Okay, okay there we go. Okay, it's kind of working. It's not fizzing at all. Thanks, unicorn fizzy gloop. I mean, it's slime. So that's fun. <laughs> we just have a little thing of slime. There's no fizzing, but I don't know. At least we've got some cute unicorn slime now. And you can actually see the glitter, so that's kind of cool. I don't know. Kind of disappointing because we didn't get any fizzing. <gasps> oh no, I gotta let the towel. Our safety towel betrayed me. Actually, it did betray me because if it wasn't there, it would have got all over my dress. So thanks, safety towel. But like you took some of my slime, so I, I'm still mad at you. <laughs> so now we have less slime. <laughs> I did not quite enjoy this as much as I would if I just made it myself. Because the whole time I was stressing about the instructions, I had to use three bowls, which now we have to put in the dishwasher and waste soap on. <laughs> cute beaker out of it, but I paid seven bucks for a beaker, so it never fizzed either. So like, mm, the whole time I was stressing over ingredients and paid seven bucks for this tiny three ounce thing of slime. So it never fizzed. It's stretchy, kind of. I'm gonna make it myself now. Using one bowl. <laughs> I never even used the other 99% of this mix so yeah don't know why i needed so much but okay whatever now we're gonna move on from that whole situation and we're gonna make our own slime let me show you how it's done you take your elmer's glue and we're gonna pour it in we're gonna add some red food dye to make it pink like the other one then you take a spoon you stir it all up after that you take some baking soda which is probably in your fridge because it makes fridges smell good. Pour a little bit of that in there, and then you stir it all up. We're gonna add a little bit of lotion so that it's extra stretchy and glossy and beautiful, which is probably in a bathroom in your house. You just grab some of that. Pour that in there and make it all beautiful. Once that's all stirred in, you take your saline solution, and you just squirt a little bit in there until it's slime. Way less complicated. <laughs> and it's really fun to do. I do it like 24 seven, so you can see already that it's activating. We also get to add glitter, I forgot, oh my gosh. So that's the slime that you got, super clicky. I love slime because it's so satisfying, but that's your slime, super stretchy. Now you get to decorate it. And they decorated theirs with purple glitter, so now I'm gonna decorate mine with purple glitter. And then you just pour some of that in there. I'll pour in a little bit at first, and then I'll just add more as we go along, because I don't wanna overdo it, you know? Then you got yourself some beautiful slime. This is super satisfying, and I love it. You probably have most of these items around your house. That's how you make the most satisfying slime ever without a $7 kit. Boom. <laughs> it's like pastel -y like my nails. Super satisfying. Make slime video. <laughs> this slime, I love it so much. Actually, this is a really good. Ah, it's stuck on my elbow! <laughs> my elbow! Okay, 
so that's how you make like all cute slime bay. You put in this adorable little beaker, and then boom, you've got yourself some slime. And now it's magical because it just came out of a slime beaker. <laughs> so now we can compare them. This one is a little baby one. It's a little small baby. And this is a giant one. So first test, we're gonna do the poke test. I would say that passes. It makes a very loud click or thwack or whatever you say. You know, okay, beautiful. This might be just because it's tinier and like if I take the same amount, let's see, of slime, it's a lot harder to make as loud of a click. So I'm just gonna give it a little bit of a break. That's just because he's tiny, okay? He can't do as much as the big one. <laughs> let's do the stretch test. This one is quite stretchy because of the lotion that we added. Now time for this one. Not as stretchy, but that's all right. It's okay, it's okay. You, you get a B, it's a B plus, right? This one gets an A plus, B plus, it's fair. <laughs> now let's do slime swirl. That's probably good. And you just twist it all around. Make a beautiful little flower slime swirl. And then you get the bubble. I love the bubbles. Now time to make a little baby one. You're not as stretchy, but that's all right. <laughs> we'll figure it out. We'll do like this thing or something. <laughs> Look at how beautiful. It's perfect. Ta-da! There's the little bubbles. So I'd give this one like an overall like a B. It wasn't that bad. It was pretty good. The only thing is it wasn't that stretchy. So it's like a B and this one gets an A plus because it's super stretchy. Comment down below if you have tried either of the kits that we tried in this video and if you did, did you get a different result? Because I get a lot of different like results. I remember me and Tyler did one one time and his turned out way different than mine. So comment down below what your results were on these if you have ever tried them. And until next time, 